Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. What's up, my name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. So I'm filming another Girl Talk Get Ready With Me for you guys today. Um, I had you guys send in questions through Instagram again and I'm just gonna answer them. So like always, the products I use will be linked down below but I'm not gonna like talk about them while I'm using them because I just wanna focus on answering the questions and if I talk about every product, this video is just gonna be way too long. So I'm going to link everything down below um, and some of it might be affiliate links just so you know. I get paid a small percentage um, if you purchase through my links but you don't have to. You can also literally just look it up yourself I'm just quickly do my baby hairs then i'm gonna grab the questions and get started with my makeup and yeah okay let's see the first question is how do you feel about dating in this generation wow dating in this generation is in my opinion really hard not because dating is hard but just because a lot of people have different mindsets some people in this generation are like fully ready to like settle down and are looking for something serious and then there's also a percentage of people that aren't ready for that at all and i feel like those people get mixed up too much so it's really hard to find someone that has the same intentions that you do and it doesn't even mean that they're a bad person or you know that you guys don't get along very well like everything can be great but if you don't have the same mindset and goals and you're just like in a different path of your life then that can totally like ruin it i guess so i feel like that makes it really hard to date in this generation and i don't like dating in this generation i don't like dating at all i feel like i've never had an, a positive dating experience i don't know dating is just really hard and i prefer not to do it <laughs> like let's just move on until we can actually be in a relationship and we can skip the whole dating part because it's just so bad i don't know what i'm doing with eyeshadow yet but i'm gonna look it up later what makes you the happiest at the moment i thought this was a cute question to answer because i feel like it's just you know very lightweight and just like genuinely asking this isn't hard to answer but i feel like it's i'm probably not going to answer in the way that people would expect me to but i feel like the one moment where i'm like really really happy is when i'm just like with my mom and with my brother and with my dog and we're just hanging out and just having literally so much fun even if we're not doing anything special i feel like we always just have so much fun together so yeah just being around people that i love makes me really really happy and being with my dog makes me really happy i miss him all the time because he lives with my mom right now and he's gonna stay with her as well because he's more her dog than he is mine but you know i'd say that and also i just really enjoy when i have like my my like kind of nighttime routine going on and i've like smoked and then i'll like just grab a snack and i'll watch some like twitch streams and i just feel so good like just in my zone not worried about anyone else i'm just chilling stuff like that really makes me happy and i notice that i really need that to be able to just like recharge for the next day if that makes sense i think that makes me really happy and just being with the people that i love makes me happy feeling confident without makeup in front of a guy when i was younger this was definitely something i was worried about and i'd be like oh what makeup can i wear to bed that's not gonna come off but now i'm at a point where it's like if a guy doesn't like me without makeup and he doesn't make you feel confident that's already not the guy for you because i feel like most guys anyways prefer when a girl doesn't wear makeup because they know they can like touch your face it's very annoying when you're wearing makeup and they can't touch your face when you're like maybe kissing or something so i prefer not wearing makeup anyways a lot of times i even try to like when i meet a guy for the first time i try to actually not wear makeup because i feel like if they like you in that moment they're they're good you know what i mean <laughs> like they'll see you i guess at your worst they'll see you at your worst and then it'll just be like up from there you know if they see me with a full face on another day they'll be like oh damn i didn't know i was talking to this girl <laughs> i honestly just wouldn't really worry about it because i don't think guys even realize when you're wearing no makeup or like natural makeup or like they only really know what a full face is i think like i don't think guys can tell if you're wearing like light makeup and no makeup they literally cannot tell so maybe start out like if you feel really insecure you can start out with just some light makeup maybe some mascara you know some brow gel a little bit of maybe blush or bronzer and then slowly just like get to a point where you can like not wear any makeup and be fine because that is really important you don't want to feel insecure around a guy especially if you end up dating him like you want to feel completely confident in 
you know, your own skin. Someone asked me about the best contraceptive method, and I wanted to put this one in because there's obviously not one that's the best, you know, everyone's body is different, everyone's gonna need something different. I currently have an IUD in. I will answer another question about this later, so I'm not going to go into detail about that right now. I would say go to your doctor and see what your options are and then figure out what will work best for you. You might have to try a couple before you find one that works because honestly, everyone's body is so different and everyone reacts differently to different um, birth control. So yeah, literally just go to your doctor, look at your options and start trying out whatever you think might work for you and go from there because there's not one right answer for that. What's the key to saving money? I'm gonna do a video on my streams of income and everything. I wanna do that um, maybe next month or something. I haven't planned it out yet, but I do wanna do that eventually. But I wanted to put this one in because I just wanna tell you guys that I think that saving money in general isn't even that hard, but I think where people struggle is having money to save. It's like you can obviously say, oh, I'm going to save money, but you actually need money to put away and still be able to like, you know, pay your bills. Um, and for a lot of people, that just isn't the case. I know what it's like to not have money. I grew up with nothing pretty much. So I know what it's like to want to save really bad, but not being able to because there's no money to save. So I think like the right answer to this question would probably be having money to save because if you have the money and you can still comfortably live your daily life and pay your bills even while saving that money away or putting it away that's when saving is going to be easy because you're not going to miss the money if that makes any sense but i will be doing like a whole video on my like streams of income and kind of how i go about financial things um and i'll try to talk about that more in there um <laughs> someone said how to have top to your coochie and i thought this was really funny because you know what you don't have to do anything guys literally they'll they'll take anything <laughs> guys will literally take anything you you honestly just have to do the bare minimum you know make sure it's clean whatever and you'll be good i mean let's be honest they'll take anything how to deal with yeast infections it makes me feel dirty but i'm very hygienic or hygienic never know how to pronounce that word um yeast infections honestly have nothing to do well it can have something to do with your your hygiene but in general it doesn't have to do anything with that like you can get a yeast infection from anything so i wouldn't be too worried about like feeling dirty or anything um because it's really not and and you can easily just like get rid of it you know we can buy something at the drugstore to help it i don't know what it's like in other countries uh, you might have to go to a doctor but yeast infections really don't mean you're dirty at all like they can happen at any moment they can randomly just like happen so don't be too worried about that you know just make sure you keep yourself clean but also don't do too much don't use like a bunch of washes especially not inside like you if you use any type of wash make sure you only use it on top and like you know on your skin but not actually put it inside your vagina that can mess up your ph balance and you can get a yeast infection from that too i'm pretty sure so i would say you know just make sure you're clean but don't overdo it because then you can you'll probably be more prone to getting it anyway so how do you remain consistent with your work and goals i mean my answer could still be useful to a lot of people but i also just want to say that my job is not like your average like nine to five or like whatever job because with me it's like if i don't work there's no money coming in pretty much like i have to do work and i have to put out um videos and content for me to get paid like i can't just sit on my ass and just get paid so i feel like that's what keeps me going because i know that if i don't work I'm not gonna get any money so uh, i feel like that's like my main thing that i focus on because i mean no one's no one else is gonna do it for me you know and i'm not gonna just have a check every month even if i call in sick or whatever so i think that's what keeps me going because i know that if i don't work i'm not gonna have any money coming in so what do you do to keep your lady part healthy um this one i found really important to answer because i think that some people um, things that have to actually do a lot to make sure that everything down there is good less is honestly more You don't want to do too much, you know when cleaning it just clean it with water and like maybe a washcloth and You can use like fem feminine soaps on top if you want to I only really use that when I feel like I've sweated a lot that day or During the summer or on my periods, but you really don't want to do too much because your vagina cleanses itself it, it will do the work for you as long as you just keep it clean by just washing it in the shower with water and that's it you know and you want to make sure you obviously change your underwear twice a day like don't go to bed with the underwear you've worn all day 
and vice versa like don't wear the underwear you slept in all day because that's obviously not going to be very clean and that could be a tip but in general you really don't have to do much but the bare minimum so <laughs> does the iud have side effects and also a lot of people were asking me for an update on my iud so i'm gonna give you that i've had it for this is my fourth month now and i have to say part of me is really happy that i have it because obviously like the reason I got on it is because I didn't want to get pregnant, you know? And I have the copper IUD, by the way, just for anyone who doesn't know. Part of me is really happy that I have it because obviously I don't have to worry really about getting pregnant. I don't have to do much. It's already in there and it'll prevent it. Part of me is hating the side effects that I'm having. Like my period, obviously I'm still in my fourth month, so a lot can still change. My body still has to get used to it. My periods last for like nine days. It's so bad. Oh. I bleed so much it's insane especially the first period after i got it put in i bled a lot but that's quite normal um now i still bleed a lot but it's not as bad like the first period i had after i got it put in i literally i'd wear like a super like plus absorbing tampon right and i'd put in a nighttime like pad and i'd bleed through both of them within an hour it was so bad and this was during the time that i was moving so i was literally like not even home i couldn't clean myself it was so bad it was during the time that i had to be in rotterdam like every day to do things at the house before we could move in so it was like worst timing ever um i was having really really bad cramps right now this right away answers your question by the way on what side effects it has and this is going to be different for everyone by the way but for me the side effects i have are really bad cramps longer periods hopefully that'll go away i have cramps obviously during my period but i also experienced them i literally had them this morning even though my period isn't supposed to come for another week um i'll have cramps and like back pain randomly um, which is really frustrating just like between my periods sorry my nose is itchy like randomly i'll get cramps and stuff my last period like i started spotting two days early and i was like okay my period's coming early and then it stopped and then my period came so that was something i wasn't used to because before i got my id put in i had a very consistent cycle um i had a cycle of 28 days my period would last like four to five days i'd be done it was honestly great <laughs> like i wouldn't bleed that much and now it's just like fully changed i think my cycle is still 28 days but my periods are longer um so I, I, every like 28 days i'll get my period but i have my period for like nine days so like i barely have any weeks or days where i don't have my period like so i really hope that like slowly goes away and like my body gets used to it because i feel like if i if it would stay like this i would definitely get it taken out so i'm hoping it'll change because like i've been thinking i'm like dude i need to get this thing out i hate it i don't like it but i know it's the process that i have to get through yeah those are the side effects i've had um i'm pretty sure in one of my other girl talk get ready with me's i talked about like my experience right after getting it done and i feel like in those i explained a bit better because i don't fully remember everything anymore so if you haven't seen those i suggest watching them back because i talk about it more in there i don't know i as of right now i'm obviously still keeping it in and just hoping my body will oh my hands are so dry i'm hoping my body will kind of find a way to you know adjust to it and i'll just be fine but if i continue to have periods that are like nine days long and i continue to have cramping in between periods i'm gonna get it taken out <laughs> i've already decided that my roommate keeps bringing guys over what should i do i think it's important i can obviously talk and experience now because talk what talk of experience like an experience i don't know i have experience with it now because i obviously have a roommate and i don't just have a roommate like my roommate is my best friend so it, it might be a different situation if it's just a roommate that you found online or that you don't know that well but i think it's really important that when you live together with someone that you talk about rules or boundaries that you're setting you know obviously bringing guys over every now and then is fine but i think you need to discuss like how often are you both comfortable with the other person bringing guys over and also um if it's a bunch of random guys that's obviously a lot less comfortable for you because if there's just random guys in your house and that's not the same as if she's just bringing over her boyfriend a lot but i think that even if it's like her boyfriend you need to talk to each other and discuss like what are you comfortable with and if she keeps bringing guys in every single day then literally just tell her like i don't appreciate that and i don't think that's a good idea i'm totally fine with you you know having someone over a couple times a week but and you need to decide 
decide for yourself how often you are comfortable with but definitely just speak out and talk about it. it's not going to get any better if you don't say anything so i would just talk about it obviously if she gets mad or, or if it creates a problem that maybe you guys shouldn't be roommates let me just see what i'm going to do with my eyeshadow i need to look on pinterest real quick makeup my hands are so dry but there's no need to put moisturizer on it right now because i'm still doing my makeup i go setting powder everywhere i saw someone do like brown liner and mascara on um tiktok but i don't have brown mascara so i'll have to do that another time this is really cute but i don't have a green liner should i do orange oh that's actually kind of cute okay let me pick up the next question while i do this is it normal that i'm 21 in a three-year relationship and i've never had an orgasm so i read this and i was like that's really sad because would i call it normal i don't know i also wouldn't say like oh it's crazy because i feel like there's so many women that just don't ever orgasm with their man i would suggest like obviously if you've been in a relationship for three years maybe like get into like toys or something i feel like you should be comfortable with your partner to talk about that when you're together for three years so i would just bring it up to them and be like hey i you know feel like i want more pleasure from you know our intercourse <laughs> and i'd love to like maybe use some toys and um you can also first just use toys on yourself to get comfortable with them and figure out what you enjoy before bringing it into the bedroom with your partner but i mean toys are there for pleasure and like if your boyfriend doesn't know or can't you know get you to a point where you can fully enjoy having sex with him i think it's your boyfriend right or maybe your girlfriend or whoever you're dating i don't know if if a guy can't fully get you there that's fine but if you guys at least try to do something to improve your sex life and that's you know i don't think it really matters if he gets you there or a toy gets you there does this look good i'm just gonna try it oh that looks really nice that's so cute i love that I'm like stepping out of my comfort zone. I love it. Were you ever scared to get pregnant when you started having sex? That's, I mean, that's the reason why I got an IUD put in. I feel like every woman goes through that at some point. The only thing you can do to kind of get rid of that or like ease the anxiety is by getting on a birth control that you know is like effective. Because if you're just gonna like think you can pull out every time and not get pregnant, then you're obviously gonna have a pregnancy scare every month because that does not work. So I feel like everyone has had a pregnancy scare. Mine wasn't that, that interesting though, I would tell you, but it's really just wasn't anything interesting. But you know, I feel like most women go through at least one ones where they just are convinced that they're pregnant because your body can really fool you it's insane what it can do do guys care about ingrown scarring i thought this was so interesting because i totally get where the insecurity comes from but i promise you guys don't even notice that stuff like they don't and even if they do like they they're not gonna tell you it doesn't matter and also guys aren't gonna be clean shaven no scars or ingrown hairs or whatever like they're not gonna look smooth at all so i really don't think it matters like they're not gonna think any weird of it because it's normal like i feel like every person has something that's you know either a scar or an ingrown hair like it's literally fine and you'll notice that when you're with a guy and just like look at their body for a second you're, you're gonna see something they're like oh he has a scar there or he has like i don't know pimple there like it's normal i kind of like this makeup damn marriage in your 20s would you ever get married now my answer is no <laughs> i first though i don't even feel like if i won't ever get married i'd be okay with that if that makes sense like i don't think i have to get married in my life i'd only really get married for the for the wedding like i think a wedding would be really fun and like having a dress and everything and having like friends and family there but i really don't care about marriage that much to be honest when i was younger i did like i really romanticized it but i feel like at this point it's like whatever happens happens and if i don't get married i'm totally fine with that but i want to get married right now because that's a huge commitment i'm not ready to make at all okay so someone asked me about staying clean for the entire day and i think they meant as in like not sweating not smelling bad and i've answered this in my last girl talk as well or the one before that i don't know which one it is but you're not gonna smell good all day you're not gonna be out all day and come home and be clean and that's fine sometimes you smell bad just take a shower like it's literally okay um i don't know why some people i don't know obviously this isn't an attack or anything like i'm literally just trying to make you, you guys feel better but i don't know why people think that or like who came up with that thought of that you have to be clean all day and you have to smell good all day sometimes 
maybe you want to just like not shower yet and that's okay <laughs> like i feel like people put so much pressure especially on women to like smell good and be clean and this and that but it's it's really not that big of a deal everyone smells sometimes not everyone is clean all day that's why we have showers and baths and you know clean yourself up and and continue on with your day or go to bed like whatever it is i don't have an answer for you because i'm not clean all day i smell like sweat sometimes i it's fine i don't know if he wants to kiss me i honestly don't think you really have to like question it like i you'll know when a guy wants to kiss you it can sometimes be really awkward but most of the time it's pretty obvious and you know just let him do it go with the flow girl that's exciting once you get to that point where you're like "Ooh, this guy's really cute i think he wants to kiss me just let it happen hacks on lightening your <laughs> your coochie i get very insecure about having darker skin there i don't think you should lighten it because i saw in the profile picture that this girl was black so that's why i even want to like talk about it more because it's <sighs> looking at porn i think that a lot of women not just black women but just women in general they light and everything they make everything look perfect but the reality is that especially for black women you're gonna be darker down there and that's okay that's just your melanin that's just you know your body and no need to lighten it obviously if you have scars you can you know treat your scars and you can help with that but you don't have to like lighten your skin tone. I promise you it's so normal. And once you start just embracing those little things that you used to feel really insecure about, but you realize are normal, you're gonna feel way more confident and way more comfortable in your body. And also obviously when you get into a um, situation where you might be like having sex with someone or whatever, I promise you there's no need to lighten your cooch. She's perfect the way she is. <laughs> Should girls feel bad about sending nudes to the guy they like? Absolutely not. You know, like sending nudes is quite a normal thing, but the only thing I would say is obviously be careful with who you send it to because there's too many people out there that take advantage especially young girls, but also a lot of guys, even if they're your boyfriend, like there's so much revenge porn out there and that's very scary, obviously. So definitely watch out with who you send it to. If you don't feel like doing it, then obviously don't do it. I guess I'd recommend not sending it more than sending it just for your safety. But I know that sometimes, you know, you're just in that moment where you're like, I really want to send this. Try to make sure your face isn't in it and like you're not as recognizable because I feel like if it does ever end up on the internet, it will be a bit less damaging than if your whole face and stuff is in it. Oh my God, I just got mascara all over my nose. I guess I'll just let it dry and then try to wipe it off. I got so much on my nose. That's so annoying. Scared of dating because of lack of experience and I'm 21. To be honest, dating isn't even all of that. Like all you really have to do is just be yourself like you don't need any experience because um, nine times out of ten people aren't even gonna notice like just act like you're meeting up with a new friend and literally that's all you have to do um and obviously if they're like making moves and stuff just kind of go along with it you know go with the flow but besides that especially if it's like a first date usually not not a lot happens unless you're having a really fun time it's really not that special and you can just be yourself like you're meeting up with a friend if you really like someone you're gonna like slowly kind of make moves yourself without really thinking about it that's and that's my experience anyways like obviously it's gonna be different for everyone but my experience has usually been like that I'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna put on my lips they are very crusty right now I'm gonna do a quick lip liner i'm literally so bad at lining my lips it's insane i feel like they're crooked i think that's good okay putting some lotion on my hands here because they so dry Okay, I think I'm gonna leave my hair down. Um, this is the finished makeup. I think she's really cute. I never really wear colorful eyeshadow, so I think it's fun. I'm gonna take some Instagram photos in this, obviously. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want me to do this again. I think I might do this like once a month or like once every two months. Just follow me on my Instagram because I'll post on my story if you need to send in any questions. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe. Also, turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And follow me on my Instagram because I post on there every single day. Whether that's on my story or on my feed, I'm always active. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.